Okay. Hi, today we are going to be taking a look at uh, a WordPress plugin. This is Sensei Learning Management uh, System, and it's a plugin I've been wanting to take a look at for a while. It's made by Automatic, or owned by Automatic. I don't think it was originally made by them, but owned by Automatic, the people that own WordPress. So let's go over and take a look at it. We'll see what it looks like here. I just installed this um, so you can see I'm on my plugin page. I'm going to look at uh, the configure. I haven't really taken a look at any videos or anything. Just wanted to dive in and see what what the interface was like. So here we have users must be logged in to view lesson content. That I think is a good one to have checked. Uh, disable the private message function between learner and teacher. I might do that. I plan on using this as for my dog website, dog training website. Uh, I'm not sure. It depends if I have it as a paid program or not. Of course, archive page. And that I'll probably have to set up. This is on a, pretty much a raw install of WordPress, so I don't really have much on here. Uh, my course page, it looks like I'm going to have to set that up as well. Use placeholder image. And then we can use styles, a style sheet, uh, keep their style sheet from loading. I may end up doing this if I use this on a production site. And they also allow you to disable their um, JavaScript, which may come in handy. And then they also um, have some HTML tags. It may be a security issue, it looks like. It says, allow any HTML tags in the video embed field. Warning, enabling this may leave you, your site more vulnerable to XSS attacks, which I get a lot of those anyway. Um, that's, I usually have some security software on here as well and, and some other, other things I try to do. Delete data on uninstall. I'm not, so right now I'm not worried about that. And enable user tracking. That also might be good in the future. Here we have courses. Um, courses are complete. Once all courses, lessons have been completed. Okay. So they have a place to have cor course authors, which could come in handy if I had other people uh, with online courses on here, which might be an idea. Um, I know there's a lot of different ways of dog training and teaching. I happen to like my own the best, of course, but I wouldn't be uh, totally opposed to hosting other training programs. And it gives you some size dimensions that you can have for images, image width and height for archives. Yeah, if you're just watching this, it may be a little bit boring. I'll, I may edit this down to being pretty, a little lot quicker. Allow comments for lessons. Yeah, that might be helpful. Display lesson authors, course lesson image. We have some dimensions we can keep it to. Email notifications. I'm probably not going to grade quizzes. I used to have a Moodle site. That thing was, it was a great experiment. It just didn't work quite the way I was hoping it would. And had to simplify it greatly so that people would actually use it. It, it was, I spent so much time structuring that using uh, you know, programmed learning that B.F. Skinner talked about and was quite happy with it. 
and if people would have followed through and gone through the whole course they would have had the proper verbal behavior to prompt their own actions when I was wasn't around but few people actually completed the course so I made it a, a lot easier And it gives you some parameters for the emails. Then we have a learner's profile. This might be helpful. The profile may be very helpful. I'm, I'll have to take a look at that. It'd be great if I could throw in a behavior profile along with that dog's profile, which is something I had with the little program. See, here's extensions. No doubt things are selling. That interest. I'd like to see if I can incorporate my membership software with this. So that's something to be looking at a bit later. Okay. Kind of it there. Here <clears throat> we have our lessons. Let's see what they look like. It's like I need to install something else to have their pages in here. It's kind of not what I was looking for. I thought it would be a complete. Complete uh, plug in. Take a look at it a little bit further. The pages. So here's creating a course. We have access permissions. I've page all this, all this. Uh, information here back to the settings is actually where it took me of uh, add new courses oh so it's going to yeah we're going to just do this as a page i think we'll come back and do this another time i just wanted to kind of get an overview of the uh, interface and also test some new settings here on the software. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.